Style is for everyone, no matter the body shape, but what's unique and flattering on you? Hey guys, my name is Ivir and today is all about styling different body shapes. Like I said in the intro, style is for everybody, you just have to learn how to lean into your body type and learn what's flattering for you. We're gonna cover five different body types, we're gonna go through short, tall, bigger, skinnier and athletic. Of course everyone has a different body type, but these tips are very much general and you can combine two of them and make a category of your own. Before we get into it though, I want to ask you to consider subscribing and liking the video as it helps the channel out so, so much. Now let's get into it. We have five tips for each body type and first off we have short. Tip number one is high-waisted pants. A high waist really helps to elongate your body shape and this is obviously something you want if you are on the shorter side. Combine this with a short jacket and you'll look at least five inches taller. Tip number two for the short kings is tonal dressing. You definitely want to try this if you're on the shorter side, as you will just look more elongated and slimmer. Because you don't want to break up the silhouette, the second you do that, you will just look a bit more stunted, if you will. And there will be very physical evidence of your proportions, if you will. But yeah, tonal dressing, I do have a video on that, so go check it out. But tonal dressing works wonders for the short kings. Tip number three is pinstripes or vertical lines in general. If you're wearing a suit, go for a pinstripe, one with quite like thick pinstriping. Any vertical lines will just make you look taller. It will also at the same time make you look slimmer, which is perfect for a suit. And you have probably heard this one before, but it really works. I'm gonna say that a lot, I think. It really works. It does, that's why I'm making this video. The fourth tip for people on the shorter side is form-fitting clothing. I'm not talking skinny, I'm just talking form-fitting. If you wear a lot of oversized clothing when you are on the shorter side, you will just look even shorter. I am six foot four, but when I wear oversized clothing, I definitely look a bit shorter. And if you are already on the shorter side, you might end up drowning. I think it's cool, but we're looking for like traditionally flattering here. Nothing is cooler than leaning into your body shape and owning that. So definitely go for the oversized if you want to, but for traditionally flattering reasons, go for form fitting. And the fifth one is really good and that is cowboy boots. Cowboy boots end up having quite a bit of a heel, like a five centimeter, at least most of the time, heel or two inches, I believe that is. But yeah, a cowboy boot doesn't really look like you're trying to gain height that you don't have, if you will. But let's say you wore an actual heeled boot, you might look like you're trying to look taller. But a cowboy boot is something so traditional that no one's gonna look at you and go like, ah, oh, he's trying to fake his height, you know what I mean? But you'll gain a couple of inches. Try them with a pair of straight leg jeans, for example, a vintage pair of Levi's 501s, and they will look insane. I waited too long to drink this, now it was cold. The next category is tall, not gonna hide it, this is definitely preferred when it comes to fashion, hence why most models are around six foot, at least. But you can definitely still go wrong. So what I'm gonna try to do with the tall guys, again it's a cheat code, but I'm gonna make you look even better. Well tip number one is flared or wide pants. I think when you are tall you don't have to like show it off too much because everyone's gonna see that you're tall anyways. But not all body types can rock flared pants or wide pants really well, but if you're on the taller side you definitely can. And if you are wearing wide pants you can get away with a low waist as well, which I think is cool. On the shorter side you don't want to do that because you might just end up looking super short, but if you're tall Rock it. The second tip for tall people is cropped clothing or short clothing. It doesn't have to be like a crop top, if you will. But if your top half is shorter, your legs will look even longer. And like I said, I think it's really cool to lean into your body shape and you will look insanely tall. For example, I have my Rick Owens Dirt Coopers. I wear them super high waisted. They are super wide and my legs look like they're two meters long. It is insane and I love it. The third tip is cropped pants. I think most body shapes cannot get away with a cropped pair of pants. I think it's only skinny and tall that can get away with the cropped. But I think a cropped or a shorter pair of pants definitely has their time and place. And if you're tall, you can rock that. So see if that works for you and your style. I think it's really cool with, for example, a pair of boots that are chunky but slim at the calf. It's a cool, like, wide, slim, wide again. I think it's really cool. Try it, see if it works for you. The fourth one is a dropped crotch. Again, this is one of those things that I think very few body types can actually pull off, but the dropped crotch looks insane when you are tall because you don't have to, like, unnecessarily elongate your legs. I'm, of course, thinking avant-garde fashion in general. Rick Owens, for example, Damir Doma, Boris Bijan Sabiri. Any dropped crotch is really cool. If you're tall, you can actually rock that. Try to rock that with a long drapey shirt on top. 
and you look insane. The fifth and last one for the tall people are long coats. You look like Dracula when you're wearing a long coat. It is insane. I love it. I'm still looking for a foot long coat myself. I have a quite a long one, but it's not foot long. I want one of those like YSL type long coats. They are expensive and very hard to come by. So I haven't gotten that yet, but one day. But let's move on to the next category and that is people on the bigger side. If you are on the bigger side, you just have to kind of own it. I would say look at people like Maddie Matheson, for example, sometimes Action Bronson. If you are on the bigger side, own it. Again, it's all about confidence. If you lean into what you look like, you will look really confident, you will look really cool, and you will look like someone who knows what they're doing, which I think is very important when it comes to fashion. But the first tip, if you are on the bigger side, is wearing high-waisted pants. You might understand this, but it kind of like tucks away some of that belly fat, if you will. That sounds a bit bad, but it just is what it is. And yeah, it just makes you look a bit slimmer. To be fair, a high-waisted pair of pants look good on every single body type, but it works especially well if you are on the shorter side or if you are on the bigger side. The second tip is not wearing too oversized or too slim clothing. If it's too oversized, you will just look even bigger than you are, and kind of the same thing goes for the skinny silhouettes on bigger people. I think form-fitting, regular-sized clothing, you can get away with kind of a wide pair of pants, but be sure not to drown your body completely, especially your upper body. Just go for a regular-sized t-shirt and a high-waisted pair of quite straight leg jeans, and you will look insanely good. The third tip is structured pieces. I think whenever you are on the bigger side, anything structured like a stiff pair of denim, for example, like a stiffer leather jacket, for example, looks really good. It doesn't really accentuate any shapes you are not happy with. And I think it just sort of like hangs down in a, in a structured, cool, and just overall great way. I think it goes for jeans as well, but especially jackets, like a structured denim jacket or a leather jacket, if you are on the bigger side, will just slim you down a lot. The fourth tip is thinner layers. You can combine the last tip with this one. You can have, for example, a thinner t-shirt under a structured but lightweight jacket. Because if you are wearing too many layers or too thick fabrics, you will just look a lot puffier. I think this works well on skinny people, like we're gonna get to. But I think if you are on the bigger side, you want to wear those like not flimsy, but like thinner pieces underneath the structured pieces, but keep everything a little lightweight. Of course, you can add a thick jacket in the winter, but like if you can go lightweight, but still structured. And the fifth and last tip, if you are on the bigger side, is darker colors. Darker colors slims everyone down. So monochromatic or darker color outfits will just look insane on you if you are on the bigger side. I'm not saying it's gonna hide what you look like in any way, I'm just saying it's so flattering. Darker colors generally look flattering on most people, but it definitely slims you down and elongates your body, which is kind of exactly what you want if you are on the bigger side, and like I said earlier, if you are on the shorter side. The next category is skinny, and it's kind of like the tall category. You can get away with a lot more than other categories, or body types, I mean. But you can definitely go wrong with some things if you are skinny. You just have to know what. So the first tip is something I think you should try if you are on the skinnier side, and that is looser, flowier clothing. If you are in this body type category, you can rock anything, but I think the looser, flowier stuff looks insane on you. It just drapes perfectly. It doesn't end up like hanging in a place it shouldn't. It doesn't end up hugging your body in a weird way. If it hugs your body, it's only slimming, and I think that is really cool. So definitely try it. I know it's not like for everyone, because for a lot of people, it might just be very out there. I'd say look at like silk your fabrics, look at satins, look at organic thin cottons, and yeah, you might find something that works wonders for you. The next tip for skinny guys is the Hedy Sliman look. You have for sure seen this, but when skinny jeans came around back in, what is it now, early 2010s, it was because of one guy, and that guy was Hedy Sliman. He did it first at Dior, and then he did it for Saint Laurent, and now for Celine and he is an actual genius. He's built an insane universe for himself, kind of like Rick Owens, but in a very different way, just in how very obvious it is when he's designed something. He makes a lot of skinny silhouettes, but especially the low-waisted skinny jeans. I think they look insane on skinny people. It doesn't have to be like skin tight, but form-fitting looks just insane. And it's very much like a rock star look. You can definitely do it a bit more preppy, like you've seen with his latest Celine collection, but definitely take a look at Saint Laurent from like 2012, 2013, absolutely insane. Some of the coolest things I've ever seen on the runway for men's. If I was skinny, I would definitely wear this. I just absolutely can't. But if you are on the skinnier side, you definitely do. So definitely go check out that aesthetic. It is for sure for you. 
Third tip for skinny people is form-fitting clothing that is not skinny. I think what's skinny on other people will look form-fitting on you, which I think is so flattering. You saw this in the skinny jeans era, because on the runway you saw skinny jeans not actually hugging the legs like it did on regular people. And that's when I think skinny jeans are at their coolest. I think when they're like, of course, slim, but they don't hug the body like skin tight like they do on regular people, like they do on me, for example. And if that's the case with you, the silhouette will work wonders. But just make sure that especially the jeans don't like actually hug your body completely. Don't make it look skin tight. That doesn't look good on anyone. That looks like leggings, but slim to skinny jeans. Perfect. But the same definitely goes with t-shirts. If it is more of like a baby tee type of shape, like short in the sleeve, short in the body, quite slim. It just looks so good on skinny people. It is insane. A baby tee definitely works wonders for the last body type that we're gonna go through as well. But on skinny people, they just look so effortless and cool. It looks like you've stolen a t-shirt from your girlfriend, which I think is a sick look. The next tip for skinny people is if you want to add some fullness, because not everyone wants to lean into the fact that they're skinny. Some people want to look a bit bigger, right? A bit more masculine, maybe. And that's when this tip comes in handy, and that is layering up. Adding more layers will directly add fullness. Thicker fabrics, more fabrics, you'll just look bigger. Any knits, any thicker pants, any wide leg pants, structured shoulders, any of this will just make you look wider if you don't want to look skinny. And the fifth tip for skinny people is to completely drown yourself in your clothing. I think this is insane for skinny people, especially skinny and tall people can get away with it much easier. But look at, there's this guy on Instagram called Alan Sven or chronically online Rick Owens wearer. Dresses really well and he drowns himself completely in his clothing sometimes and it looks so good on him. He definitely rocks the skinny silhouette sometimes as well, but when he drowns himself in his Rick Owens clothing, it looks insane. It looks so good. So try that, see if it works for you. Most likely not your cup of tea, like if we're looking at average people, but if it is, good for you. And then we have a bonus tip for the skinny guys. Again, you can rock anything. And I think you should try a more androgynous look. Not all body types can rock the androgynous looks, but if you are skinny, go for it. If you are afraid of your like masculine side, don't be. I think it just shows confidence to rock anything a bit more feminine. Look at the vocalist from Led Zeppelin, for example. He used to rock these blouses or like blousons. It was from the women that he was with the night before and they just looked like really just too small on him, but he was skinny, so it looked insane. So try anything androgynous. I think it looks great. Try the long hair try some feminine accessories, just do something that's a bit non-traditionally masculine. And I think it looks wonders on you. And the last category is athletic. This is again, one of those categories that can rock a lot of things, but you definitely have more constrictions, if you will, here than if you are tall or skinny because you're more built, but it is definitely a good body type for styling. And the first tip, if you are athletic is to focus on the waist. Chances are, if you are athletic, your waist is quite slim and then your shoulders are probably broad and you have the V shape. If you do accentuate your waist, you'll just get more of that V shape. I think it looks sick and you can definitely get away with that if you are athletic. The second tip is form fitting on the upper body. Let's go for a baby tee, for example, like I said with skinny people, but a baby tee looks good if you're athletic but don't make it look snug on your belly as well. Just make it look form-fitting in the chest and the shoulders and you're good to go. If you do get it too slim, you might look like you're trying to show off too much. The third tip is wide pants, but if you are athletic, you can also get away with them being low-waisted. Not all body types can get away with low-waisted pants, but if you are athletic, you definitely can. So try that. Like super wide pants, quite low-waisted, they will look sick on you. For example, the Acne Studios 2023 jeans, they will look insane if you are athletic. And the fourth tip is generally that you definitely can show off more body, but make it tasteful. You don't want to be the guy at a party, for example, wearing just like the skinniest jeans, the skinny t-shirt, like veins popping up. You'll just look a bit like a douchebag, you know? Try form-fitting stuff, regular fit, just a bit more form-fitting, and you won't look like you're trying to show off too much. You don't want to look like Andrew Tate. Like things that are skin tight when you are athletic just looks like you're trying to show off, and it may look a bit insecure. But if you are very athletic, it'll show through the clothing anyways. And wearing something on the flowier side, for example, or just form fitting, but not skinny, it just looks so much better, so much more tasteful. And you can definitely do like showing skin is a different thing, but I'm talking like pieces of clothing that hugs your body in a weird way. You don't want to be that guy. Trust me.
And the last styling tip for the athletic guys is tank tops. Kind of goes back to the last point. You can show off some more skin and tank tops look insane on athletic people. Kind of goes against the last point, but it's very like a shameless, yeah, I'm wearing this tank top. What are you going to do about it? You know what I mean? And it doesn't have to be form fitting, but a tank top just looks great on you. Simple as that. And it doesn't have to stand alone either. You can have like a tank top under a blazer, under a denim jacket, a leather jacket maybe, under a shirt. You have of course seen this on TikTok or Instagram as it has been very trendy, but try it for yourself. It is comfortable. You'll be able to move freely. If you are athletic, probably you have worn a lot of tank tops already, but they look good on you. So why shouldn't you? Anyways, those were all of the tips we had for today. I hope you learned something and I hope you also got inspired to try something new. Additionally, I do want to add that there is nothing cooler than leaning into your body shape. It just shows so much confidence to, for example, let's say you're short, drown yourself completely in your clothing. It's not traditionally flattering at all, but it shows that you're confident in who you are and it'll show your uniqueness. And that's kind of what fashion is about, at least to me. It's not about like what's trendy and how can I look like I fit in or look very on trend. To me, it's about uniqueness and every body shape is unique. So lean into yours and you will just look very different to anybody else. And of course, remember to subscribe and like the video if you want to see more from us. We have a lot of things cooking. So yeah, come along. Anyways, though, have a great rest of the day and thanks for watching.